He was behind us, following us. Do I just like put it on? Hello you guys, I'm just gonna start off the vlog on a positive note. Today is your day. Get your ass out of bed. Get your productiveness on and do what you've always wanted to do. Life is too short, you're not guaranteed tomorrow. So get your ass up and go do whatever you've been wanting to do for years now. Because if you don't do it, no one else is gonna do it for you. So it is 2.10 and I was just doing some editing in the morning, finishing off a video for this week. I just had to shoot a clip for a video. Now we're here. I haven't had my coffee yet, so I'm just about to make that. Today Today is just a sit down at home type of edit day. The weather, the weather, the weather is kind of shit. It's like really weird. The sun was peeking out this morning a tiny bit, and then now it's like cloudy again and kind of like raining a bit. It's been very bipolar here. Let's get coffee making. Actually, do I want a matcha? Mm. Sometimes it's just hard for me to decide. Like I'll literally like contemplate it in my head for a good like half hour, and I'll be like matcha coffee and i just i just it comes to a point where i'm just like eeny meeny miny mo type of deal because i really just can't decide it's pathetic i think matcha i think i'm leaning more towards matcha it's like they're both they're so good and sometimes i just feel like them both equally maybe i'll have matcha because i think i think i'm leaning towards that one more yes made up our minds cue the aesthetic matcha pours This shit is so good. Mm, glad I went with the matcha. Okay, so now I'm just gonna sit down, do some editing, and I'll talk to you guys later because I gotta get some work done. Okay, I'm just taking a little bit of a break and decided to get a snack, and I think I'm gonna have Triscuits. Okay, Triscuits. You've never tried Triscuits before? Bye. No, but seriously, they're so good. Best crackers in the world invented, like so good, but they're addicting, so beware. Um, I'm gonna have a Triscuit or Triscuits. And I think I'm gonna have it with this vegan cheese that I bought the other day. Um, this is it. So I'm gonna try and see how it tastes if I spread it a little bit on the cracker. There she is. Okay, number one, these crackers are a little stale. Not too impressed. The cheese is pretty good. It's pretty good. Give it like a solid seven out of 10. But the thing is, is like I need to find a plant-based borsin. Borsin is my favorite cheese. Like it's so good. Like I can eat the whole circle. Like I can eat the whole thing in one sitting with the crackers. So good. And I need to find a plant-based borsin. Also, I couldn't sleep last night for a few hours. So in the middle of the night, I was just like on my phone to like make me tired again. Um, I came across this girl's food account. It's like a vegan food account and she like really inspired me. So I followed her. This is her account and she has like a whole bunch of vegan recipes. At first I thought she was just like a healthy like food account, but then I realized like she's actually like a healthy vegan food account. So I'm like, this is perfect. There's like a whole bunch of sick recipes on here. This is good inspiration for me to get going. You know, if I ever need a recipe, I can just look on her page. She has a whole bunch of smoothies and stuff. And I feel like when you're having a change in diet, it's really important that like you, you gotta kind of plan ahead in your head, like what you're gonna have for lunch, what you're gonna have for breakfast so that like you stay consistent on the diet. Cause it's so easy just to go in the fridge and grab like something unhealthy. So great inspo. I need some water. It's currently 444. Okay, literally 444 is my angel number. Like that's crazy. It's literally the number that I see when I'm in tune with the universe. It'll like pop up everywhere around every corner. 444 is like my number. But yeah, if you guys like start being like more in tune with the universe and into yourself, you guys will start seeing a lot of angel numbers. Like there's at one point I was seeing like one, one, one appear everywhere. Sometimes it's just like a mix. Like I'll see like all the angel numbers and it's just like giving you signs that like you're in tune. I need to start drinking more water. I've been really slacking. Like I haven't, I've only been drinking a few cups a day. Like I haven't been drinking a full eight glasses a day. I need to get back on that bag bandwagon because I know like hydrating yourself is so important. Like, I do slack, but I just, I don't know. I just, it's been sucking lately. So good. Okay, I'm just gonna get back to editing now, finish off the day, and then I'm gonna help my dad cook dinner. You called me like six times, but I'm not gonna answer. Oh, oh, oh. Cause you thought I'd never leave till I turned the tables. You think you're gonna find someone that's better. I bet you won't, cause I'ma let him know You got a heart of stone Baby, I tried to love, but you just don't care, do we? Should've known all along You got a heart of stone Baby, I'm tired, do you see me all along? So I'ma let you go You got a heart of stone You go back and forth, you just 
trying to tell me that you love me once more But so first of all, my love is worth to play more than you show And I know that I make mistakes when I feel like y'all I'm gonna get this on film here <gasps> Hershey You want that? What do you want, Hershey? What do you want? Do we have to? We get have nothing, Hershey. I have nothing for you. Do you want this? Hershey, I don't have anything for you. She keeps reaching for me. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I have no food for you that you like. You like chicken. I don't have chicken. Hello you guys, excuse the noise in the background, my dad's vacuuming, but I'm about to go to the grocery store, do a little bit of a grocery haul because we're going to be making tofu in the air fryer today and like veggie stir fry, so that's going to be a fun recipe. I actually found the recipe on TikTok, so I'm excited to share it with you guys. Let's freaking go grocery shopping, baby. The difference in the colors of our air forces. Look at that. This is so bright. Clean, where's dirty? <laughs> Mine need to wash so bad. Okay, so last time we came to this grocery store, Joel was just like holding the camera and he wasn't even filming. Like he was literally just holding it. The camera was off. Then the manager pulls him aside and he's like, you know, there's no filming in here. And then Joel's like, yeah, the camera's off. And then he's like, yeah, but you no filming. And it's like, okay, he wasn't even filming and he went out of his way to tell him not to film. If you look at everyone in the store, they all have cameras. We all carry phones, which means we all have cameras with us. So are you gonna go to a random person that's holding a phone and say no filming? Really? Maybe I gotta have a better comeback for this time. Honestly, I, I don't even think I'm gonna like film on, on the camera because that just attracts so much attention. And since we're not allowed, um, I'm just literally gonna film on my phone because that attracts no attention. So it's the same thing, but it's just like a more concealed device. It's just so stupid. Here, when I pull up my camera, I get so many questions and people always like point it out. But when I'm filming on my phone, no one even notices. So it's just like, mm, when I go out in public, do I really want to take my big camera or do, do I want to take my phone? Joel's watching this YouTube video and he said that these guys like brought it in a camera and they were filming and then they got kicked out for filming and then they just went back in and continued the video but filmed on their phones and no one said anything because it's a phone like but it still is a camera so it just doesn't make sense but anyways we're gonna go inside i'm probably just gonna switch to my phone because i don't want to get kicked out so you called me like six times but i'm not gonna answer oh 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 because you thought i'd never leave okay so now we're just headed to another grocery store because they didn't have tofu at this one they always have it and then of course when i like need it they don't have it but that is fine because there's another grocery store not too far away hopefully they have tofu or else i'll be a little disappointed and they'll just go to another grocery store but that's what we're doing okay so we literally just went to the second grocery store sold out of our firm tofu they had this soft one but they're sold out of the one that it needs so we need to go to a third grocery store this feels like a hunt for tofu right now anyways it's so funny how we were just talking about the camera story because when we were in there joel was holding the camera again because we don't like leaving the camera in the car because we're scared of it getting like stolen so joel just carries it around like when we're in the grocery store he just like holds it and when we went in there's a security guard at the door i noticed him kind of like staring at us probably because the camera he stays at the door keep in mind he stays and monitors the door and we were like across the store like we were in, we were the, in the back corner back the corner of the and store. you come in in this corner and we were in this corner mm -hmm. he was behind us following us no, we didn't even notice though. But I we mean, didn't notice him following us. Yeah. So I'm walking and then I turn around because we're looking for the tofu and I see him, the security guard in the back of the store. So then I, as soon as I start walking towards him, he like looks away and pretends like he's just walking down the aisle. <laughs> and then, then I go ask him where the tofu and he's like, well, I don't know. I'm just security. I'm like, well, then why are you roaming the store? And then he walks his And then he just back. walks right back to the front and it's like he like obviously He obviously was following, was following us. us to see if we were filming. And that's so funny how I was just talking about that it's probably like i understand like they're just doing their job and it's probably because there are people like nelk if you guys don't know the youtube channel nelk they do like pranks in stores and stuff and they bring their cameras into film so that's probably like why and probably why they're on the lookout for that and why he's following us just to make sure we were like like not doing any sketchy shit but it's just funny how we were just talking about that and then that happened i literally refuse to bring this camera anywhere because it's it attracts too much attention anyways we are gonna go visit a third grocery store now and i will keep you guys updated on the tofu hunt okay just finished up at the third grocery store and they're sold out of the medium firm tofu they only had the soft tofu what's going on is there like a shortage of firm tofu or something i'm really confused because i feel like every other time i've been grocery shopping 
everything I've seen it there and today it's not so something must be going on but anyways I got this soft tofu I don't know if it's gonna work as well but we're gonna try it anyways because <laughs> that's the best we can do I'll give you guys a mini grocery haul when we get home veggie mix another veggie mix nutritional yeast vegan hot dogs jasmine rice broccolini vegan aids this thing you're doing not really sure what but we're gonna try it snap peas and soft tofu got a whole bunch of that and of course had to snap okay we're gonna make So I'm currently outside on my swing bench. I just ate dinner and I'm just like getting some fresh air in. Cause the weather has been just so weird. There was like a few moments of sun like 10 minutes ago where the sun came and then it left and the weather's just been really weird. But dinner didn't turn out as planned whatsoever. Since I got the soft tofu, it couldn't go in the air fryer and then it just got all mushy and it just wasn't staying cubed at all it was like impossible to like spread the seasoning because it couldn't stay cubed and then it just couldn't go in the air fryer because it was too mushy so that was a complete fail i just ended up throwing like the mush that i had created onto a frying pan and then fried it up i just made some rice and veggies on the side but that was about it next time when i find firm tofu apparently there's a, some sort of shortage so i will try the recipe again and hopefully show you guys but you know what? it's fine it still tasted good it was just pretty Pretty much a vegetable rice stir fry just kind of a shame how we went to three grocery stores and didn't even get the tofu out of it <laughs> Hey guys, so it is currently 8.42, it's a bit precise. I was just like watching YouTube videos, winding down, and I'm gonna get ready for bed soon. So I mentioned earlier in the vlog that I need to start drinking more water, and I was pretty successful with that today. All thank you to this fancy glass, I kid you not. Fill this with ice, I put a lemon as you can see, and I put water, and drinking it out of a cup like this just makes you wanna drink it more, cause it feels fancy. So that is my tip to you. Like if you work from home or if you're home all of the time and you need to drink water, sometimes it's like you don't want to drink out of a water bottle. I feel like water bottles are good if like you're bringing it somewhere. But this at home, it just makes you feel so bougie and like, Oh my god, that was really sour because the lemon was sitting in here for a bit. This just like leveled my water game up 10 million thousand times. I don't know what it is about it. It's just mm, 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 kind of like... She looks fancy drinking that. Spice up your water game, make it a little more fancy. Put some lemon, get a cute cup. Oh my God. <gasps> All this time, I forgot that I bought Smart Sweets. Are you joking me? I just saw them here, peeking out of my purse. How can I forget? You know what, it's not too late. It's still 8.45 and like, okay. Sometimes this happens where it's like a weekday and then I'll be like winding down after I'm done like my work and then I'll start watching a whole bunch of YouTube videos and then I'll get so inspired and then I'll want to go and like edit my own videos and like work more and like edit everything and I'll just like get so inspired after watching a whole bunch of videos and then I'm like, okay, I gotta settle down right now. Like it's nighttime, I'm not gonna start working right now. But I just like get so pumped up. Like I almost can't watch like binge watch youtube videos before i go to sleep because it makes me so excited to like create more of my own content and edit you know what i mean i don't know just yeah if you guys didn't know i literally am a grandma okay i go to bed at 10 30 to 11 every night just because i wake up like at 7 every morning so i need my sleep like i'm the type of person that like needs their sleep like i cannot function off of less than eight hours i will feel so disgusting the next day and i won't be able to function properly like not even joking you i kind of feel like self tanning tonight i just haven't gotten some good sun in a long time so i think i'm going to tan tonight because i did tan like last week when it was hot but it was only for like two days and it wasn't like that hot where you would get like really tanned i mean it did give me a little bit of color but i feel like it's already like gone so i think i'm gonna self tan tonight and i'll do it with you guys because i don't self tan often like i never self tan like i've probably only self tan like twice in my entire life but i do have self tan so let's do that tonight okay i'm gonna go watch some more youtube videos have my sweats, smart sweets and then i will see you guys back in like half an hour when i go up to get ready for bed and we'll self tan together welcome back it is 9 50 now and i should already be in bed but we're gonna self tan so this is the fancy fancy mitt this one you don't even need to wash off it just says like 
wait 60 seconds and then you can put your clothes on. I also heard that the Jergens, this is Jergens by the way, this is the one I'm using. I also heard that the Jergens in in shower self tanner is really good because it's just like you put it on and then it like tans you in the shower, which is really convenient. Oh, I'm just scared of like this not being even at all. Oh, should I even do this? I should, I should do this. All right, we're just gonna go for it. We're just gonna literally go for it. Excuse me if I'm looking in the viewfinder because I'm gonna be using this as a mirror. Should do I just like put it on? Should I moisturize first? Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of moisture first. My chest does not tan in the sun. Like here to here, just doesn't tan. Like it's so funny. I look so weird because my stomach will be like dark and then my chest will be like white because like they don't tan at the same time as each other like my arms my legs and my stomach all tan really fast and then my chest up just does not tan at all but anyways i don't know i feel like i've been just like hearing so much about okay here we go sun damage this past year and i'm kind of scared to tan like ugh. It's like an ongoing struggle. It's like, I love to tan because it's like really nice, you know, summer vibes. But I just feel like if I use like a good sunscreen, then it's fine. We'll see. Oh, I just got this brown, that's nice. Do I look tan? I'm definitely not gonna do my face because my face has eczema on it, so it will not like this at all. I honestly don't think I'm gonna do my legs because my legs are not gonna be seen for a while because of the rain. Should I even do my stomach? I don't even know. How do people do their back is the real question. Okay, here we go with the arms. Okay. I've seen like self tan look really bad on people's hands. I hope I'm doing these well. Okay, the one, not the one thing. The thing that I hate about self tan is the smell, okay? It's like, actually this one doesn't smell bad, but I know that the self tanner scent is gonna be coming through soon and I'm just gonna wanna bomb it. Like it just does not smell too hot. Also, I'm gonna be ending off the vlog tonight, but tomorrow I'm gonna be starting a new vlog. So wait for like the next vlog probably coming out after this one to see the results of this self tan. Like how do you know it's even? Like how do you know? I mean, I'm just hoping for the best here. I think I did like this fine. Maybe I'll do my back a little bit. Okay, we did it. So I just tanned from here up. Literally, I didn't tan my stomach, didn't tan my legs because I feel like they're naturally just darker in general and I was too lazy. But I literally tanned like even the upper half of my back only. So we're gonna see how that looks in the morning. I feel like I'm already kind of already like, like the color already kind of set in. Like I'm feeling a little more tanned. I don't know if it's just like me thinking that, but I don't know. I think it already kind of worked. But that leads me to the end of the video. I have been so shit at doing outros lately, but I just wanted to make sure that I did an outro for this video. Stay tuned for my next video because you will see the results in the morning. Yeah, so I'm gonna end this off here so I can start fresh tomorrow. I'm just gonna get ready for bed, brush my teeth and all that and go to bed because it's already 10 o'clock. So I sh I'm a grandma, I should be in bed. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate it so much. Make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. You called me like six times, but I'm not gonna answer. Oh, oh, oh. Cause you thought I'd never leave till I turned the tables. You think you're gonna find someone that's better? I bet you won't. Cause I'ma let them know you got a heart.